Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's Wednesday. Dropping another video on a Wednesday. I've heard that Wednesdays are not the best days to do it on, but oh well, here we go. So, stacking the south, coming back at you with another brand new video. Um, I think they're all brand new, except the one. I'm going to I'm gonna do a reaction video to my first video ever coming up soon, maybe this weekend. Um, but anyway, so another brand new video. Oh yeah, don't forget, like and subscribe. You don't have to. I'm pretty, I can be pretty stingy with my subscribes myself. But, all right, so today the topic is going to be, what am I working on? What am I working on currently? You know, and I thought I would do a video about this today because I haven't bought anything since, um, well, I got that gold piece um, in a couple rounds here recently. Nothing major. And I got this one, which is pretty nice. Super shiny. I'm gonna hide behind my camera so you can't see my you can't see my face. But you can't see my forehead, huh? Anyway. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, so I went ahead and picked it up. Kind of similar to a, a Libertad, but not 100 percent Maybe the type ones. But anyway, um, this is what I'm working on. And I'm gonna kind of start with left to right. Actually, I'll start with the front. Eagles. You know, I'm trying to figure out what is my next purchase this week. And I have a couple of ideas. One of them is a five pack of Eagles. One five pack of Eagles that does not, and I repeat, does not come from China like some of them. All right. Um, I don't know. They're $29 a piece as of today at Liberty Coin on eBay. Um, free shipping, no tax. So it'd be $145 to my door. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, I just don't know. I've kind of I haven't written them off, but I have kind of put eagles on the back burner of something that I'm interested in stacking. Mostly because the premiums are so high and I don't feel like I'm getting a good deal for my silver. Though I do pay high premiums on other things. Um, but those other things are much, much, much lower mintages. So they're, you know, in theory, more rare. But um, I'm trying to think, do I want to get another five pack of these? Because I believe I'm up to... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually have a total of seven. One of them is in a generic slab, brilliant uncirculated. Um, so I don't know. Am I actively working on my eagles? No. But we'll start here left, left to right. Oh yeah, another thing, let's start with the front. Um, I bought one of these in the beginning because I wasn't sure what I would want to know or what I would like. The Philharmonic, eh, it's a beautiful looking coin. I can't say I love the smooth edge. I, I think I like a reeded edge better. That's a good looking coin. But as I kind of progress through, you know, my journey here, I'm not, I don't, it's not really my favorite. And I, know I probably won't stack them. Here's another one. These are beautiful, right? I mean, <laughs> these are absolutely stunning coins. Why don't I stack them more? I don't know. There's too many other things I think I like more. And really, that's all it amounts to. But I have a couple of these, so no, I'm not actively working on these. Maybe someday. You know, so I kind of put these all in the same tube, just because, you know, why not? Um, here's another thing I have a couple of. Actually, I have four of these. Four Morgans. Um, one's in a slab, MS-62. It's pretty cool. But then I have these three loose ones I got from the bargain bin. Um, am I actively stacking those? No. You know, and I was gonna start. I was gonna start working on a tube of these. I just find myself not fully grasping constitutional silver. There's so many variables, uh, so many different, you know, things. I, I don't know grades. You know, XF, AU, BU, um, and then if you start getting into the slab stuff, I guess what it amounts to is I don't know the value. It's harder for me to judge the value of those if I'm getting a good deal or not. I mean, I can go to the coin store and know that I'm probably paying a little more than it's actually worth. You know, because I think I got these, all three of these in about $35 range. You know, and, um, am I overpaying for those? My guess is probably, but I don't know. So I kind of steer clear of constitutional at the moment. You know, at least with this bullion, 
that's easier to track prices and things like that. Um, so that's everything. All right, let's get over here in the gold. This isn't all we get. I have another two and a half inch, two and a half gram bar. Man, I always, when I go back and forth between gold and silver, I always call gold in ounces. I wish I had, you know, a whole bunch, but I don't. So I've added up and uh, let's see, the most recent thing I bought was this two and a half peso. Uh, I like the Mexican gold. Um, yeah, anyway, it was all set up now, I just ruined it. But I'm working on an ounce. I would like to have an ounce of gold by the end of the year. That only gives me four more months. I probably, probably won't happen. Um, I'm at 14 grams currently. So just a hair under a half ounce. 14 grams, I think I added it up all and it's just 14.03 or some weird number. But just, I'm just rounded up to 14. 14 grams of gold right now. I am actively working on getting that ounce going. That is something active. Um, what I probably do is stick with eagles, pesos, and possibly kooks or perth mint stuff in general. Um, would I like to have an ounce by the end of the year? Yeah. Could I do it? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think I would just be kind of putting off silver a little bit. Um, again, the gold to silver ratio is telling me I should buy silver now anyway. So for now, I'm going to stick with silver, but I will be adding to the gold guaranteed. Here's another thing. All right, there's just some, some rounds. I have one and just about one half tubes currently. Um, working on the second tube. I mean, these generic rounds are always, always going to be something I work on. Wow. Um, mostly because I like them. Um, you can find them fairly inexpensively. They're good for weight as far as I'm concerned. Like the other day I went back and bought, I bought three rounds at 26 bucks a piece. Um, that felt pretty good. Better than the, the $30 range. Um, but yeah, generic rounds, vintage rounds, definitely actively working on filling a second tube and probably those will never not be something I'm working on. So, um, next thing is Canadian silver, right? I love maples. Um, I love stuff on the Royal Canadian Mint. You know, I found a couple of cool things. You know, I think that's, um, not sure which bird that is. But, you know, got some maples, some birds of prey. Um, I even got this one. I don't know if I even showed you guys this one. I don't know why I got this one. <laughs> Something in there told me to buy it the other, um, you know, about two weeks ago. You know, it's nice. But, oh yeah, I think that's the peregrine falcon, that, that one. Um, eagle, peregrine falcon, owl. Uh, and I don't remember what the last one is. But I'm working on maples. Maples of all kinds, right? So I have these ones. Olympics. God, that looks, God, that's ugly though. Like some 2000 firework privy maples. Um couple of those but just um, the maple stack is also something that is going to be actively being added to um, let's see moving on my Perth mint stuff definitely definitely adding to that um, I think currently Perth mint and Libertads are my absolute favorite to, to stack right now sorry I just can't get enough of the kooks. The Lunar Series. Um, the Lunar Series. They just blow me away. The kooks of all kinds. Even the koalas. 
I haven't seen too many koalas around. This one I got from the LCS. Most of these I bought from the LCS. Um, now look at that one. I love eagles. Anyway. I like the koalas. Um, I like the kookaburras. I like the koalas. Generally just like Perth Mint stuff. I'm mean, Look at this. This is a half ounce. You're the tiger. And it's just a beautiful coin. I want to find the one ounce version, but those seem to be awful spendy. Now, the next thing I'm actively working on, and I know y'all know this one. I'm working on a tube of Libertads. And man, I was snatching these up from the coin store like they were going out of style. And guess what? They're all out. They're all out, man. They're all out. They sold all the Libertads. I am for short for that tube. Um, I see them all over the place, but it's hard for me to justify spending 40, 50 bucks or more on a single Libertad when I was getting these for 35 at the LCS. Um, so basically, I know they'll get some more eventually, and I'm going to clear them out. I'm going to fill up one tube. Will that be the end of it? I don't know. You know, I find stuff like this, and this is not stack material. This is absolute collector side of me that just wanted it, right? Now, let's get a good close-up. Let's see if I can get in trouble from YouTube. Because this looks like it has full frontal nipples, my guys and gals. Full frontal nipples. Let's see if YouTube uh, dinks me on that one. That's not part of the stack. That's part of my personal collection. Um, but Libertad's absolutely top notch. Oh yeah, the other thing I was thinking about buying besides the Eagles is the 2023 Dragon Bars five pack for 30 bucks. I don't, but then I pay taxes on that, so that's you know 10, almost 11 bucks. So it'd be like 165. You know, once. Uh, let's see, what are they? Yeah, about 162, 160, somewhere in that range. I'd have to look it up. Um, but they're about $30 a piece. And I'm thinking about getting five of them. Because um, I know these will these will increase in value. And maybe I could offer a couple of them later on down the road. Um, I think for 30 bucks that would be a decent price on these. Um, I paid about 30 for that one. I'd have to look it up. might have been 32 But that's fine. And then... Uh, so here's more Perth Mint stuff, right? These are just platinum, platinum kooks. I have I have one half ounce of platinum, right? All in one tenth ounce coins. I have two slabbed ones, two slabbed eagles. You know. So and that's another thing I'm working on. I'd like to have that um, at the end of the year. I'd like to announce that. So my goal, and I think I got a little too lofty, is I decided to ounce of that and an ounce of that by the end of the year while still trying to accumulate this. Eh, who knows? But anyway, that's what I'm working on. What are y'all working on? Um, I'm I'm just curious. I like to see what people's videos. It's always interesting to see what they stack because um, no two stacks are the same. And that is actually going to be a video of mine coming up um, talking about other people's stacks. But anyway, thank you guys. I'm out. Oh, no. Nope. The silver portion is over. But I got a little story for this one. Sorry this is running too long, guys. R34. Nissan Skyline. GTR. R34. That's super dope. I think this is the best body style that GTRs have had. Just love it. Love it. And a uh, funny story about this car is... I had it sitting up there on the shelf, displayed with all my other stupid overpriced Hot Wheels. And uh, cause I like to keep them on display, so I have to wipe the dust off them every couple weeks. But I came home one day, and I somehow, and I don't think it was my son, one of them was completely missing. This car was gone. The This part was in the living room with the bed taken off, and I could not find this part for anything. So it's been gone for... I'd say at least two years, and I moved a stupid little box the other day, and it was just sitting there, just sitting there, plain as day. So, I'm glad to have this one back. You know, these things are too expensive to lose. Um, I don't know. I like JDM, Japanese Domestic Motors. Um, 
Yeah, I like some Japanese cars. Uh, that's that. I have several Skylines, and you'll see more of those. But this is my favorite. I like the hauler. It's all plat, all rubber wheels, metal on metal. The only part of this that's plastic is the bed, which does that, which is pretty cool. So anyway, um, let me know what you think of that one. Haulers are my favorite, and you buy two, but man, they've gotten expensive like everything else. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. It's what I'm not working on. You know, there's other stuff, but those, this is my main focus. Um, and of course, I don't really buy too many Hot Wheels, but uh, you know, if I see something I can't live without, I'll pick it up. But anyway, if you made it this far, gosh dang, I appreciate you. Appreciate each and every one of you. I'm out.